Hi friends, welcome back to Keeping Up with Miss Electra. And today's video is how I'm gonna chalk paint my coffee table. I know a lot of people have been telling me, oh, paint, um, chalk paint that coffee table. I wanted to, but I always like, you know, pushed it, but I had a little time. So I was like, let me do that now, you know, before the holidays. So I'm gonna show you how I chalk paint it. And then I'm gonna show you how I decorate and um, the guy thinks I'm crazy. And then I'm gonna show you the end result and how I'm gonna decorate it for fall. So it's gonna be a fun video. All right, all right. so let's get into the video. Let me show you how I chalk paint just so you can get an idea and to motivate you guys and to inspire you. All right, so let's get into the video and let me show you how I chalk paint and then how I decorated it for the fall. All right. So here's the table and I'm gonna start chalk painting it. So before you chalk paint, you should wipe it down I did it with this, it's damp, just wipe it down. If it's really, really dirty, you know, clean it. But mine wasn't, it just has marks and scratches. And so I'm going to chalk paint this now with um, the chalk paint that I did, that I did my mantle with. So I'm going to do it with the linen white, the Rust-Oleum chalk paint. This is good. I'm liking it, so yeah. Let me get started to paint this table. pretty good I got to get the knobs for over here but pretty good now it's time to decorate it so yeah love chalk paint and I love this color so a lot of people tell me paint that table so I did and the couches don't have those slip covers because I'm washing those so that's okay yeah I think it came out pretty well, after I decorate, we'll see. All right, so after the table is um, nice and dry, the paint, you're going to get a wax. I'm going to use this. You can use a more, you know, heavy-duty one if you're going to really use this table. You know, not the, the legs, but if you're going to use the top, uh, yeah, you could use, um, you know, a heavy-duty, like, um, wax on top. I'm going to just use this, see how it goes. And if it doesn't go too well, then I'm going to go get, you know, a stronger wax for the top. All right. Okay, so I put the clear wax on. This is the clear wax. But yeah, anyway, I put the clear wax. So I let this dry for a day that I put my stuff on. But they say you should wait a week so it can really cure for like really heavy, like duty wear, you know. But I think if I put something on top, it's okay. I wait one day. It never gave me a problem. But yeah, I guess... You know, if you want to put like drinks for staining, you should wait like seven um, days for really, so you can really use it. All right, so now I'm going to show you how I'm going to decorate my coffee table. All right. 
Okay, this is how I set up my full table. Everything looks so much better with the white, right guys? All right, so uh, right here. Okay, right here I put flowers um, from Hobby Lobby. That, va that picture is from Michael's. That little sphere is from, I think Hobby Lobby. So that's what I did. I put the picture and then in that like lantern, I don't know what you want to call it. I just have some like, you know, little, I don't know what they're called, but those natural, I guess they're, they're decorating like little spheres, I guess. Fillers, vase fillers. That's what they are. So I have them in there and then I have a candle burning, some old keys. So that's what I have up here. And then I have the bookends right here and with the book underneath, which we are reading but it looked good with my decor, the colors. So it's an old book. It's I Kill a Mockingbird. Me and my daughter are reading it. So I just left it there and it does go with my decor and I like the pages are old and it is uh, an old book. I think it's from 1960s. I don't even, that's what they said, I think. All right, so over here is, um, I made this. I put the leaves and then the cotton stems and those uh, pumpkin picks so that's all I have on my table so when you're decorating your coffee table always go like like I guess like a triangle don't mind the noise because Daisy's barking at the guy that's cutting the grass so anyway so I go usually a triangle so you see the triangle it's like the flower here that so try to keep it you know visually like a triangle so anyway I like how my coffee table came out for the fall. I just love it. Yeah, and I think it's kind of cute. It's not overly done, but I like it. You know, it brings in the fall. That's how I decorate the coffee table for the fall. So anyway, the, the table looks good, right guys? Much better. So my stuff looked much better on it. It goes with, with my style, so it was a good idea painting it and a lot everyone said paint that table and i did so yeah this is the end result all right so that's the video today i want to show you my coffee table the way i did it and i hope you guys enjoyed it it wasn't hard it's not hard to chalk paint it's easy and yeah so it was fun i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you liked how my table turned out and if you did give this video a thumbs up share my video Tell a friend and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel so you won't miss out on my videos. And I will see you in my next video and I hope you always remember to keep designing life. Bye!